Hey, what is up guys? It's Brendan here and today I'm going to be showing you how to DIY your bookkeeping or accounting in your small business or if you're running a bookkeeping service as well. This is how you can do it completely for free. I will also leave a link to this template down below in the description if you want to check it out. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you step by step exactly how to do, again, your own bookkeeping for free in a spreadsheet, whether you're using Google sheets or Microsoft Excel. Uh, either way will work. Essentially, you're just utilizing a spreadsheet. And this can be a great alternative to especially all the expensive bookkeeping and accounting softwares out there, especially like QuickBooks that do charge quite a hefty monthly fee. So this is, can be a great way to simplify your life and also save a lot of money as well. Again, just by utilizing a simple spreadsheet. So without further ado, let's go ahead and dive into things. So I have created this sheet here where you can track your overall income and expenses in your small business or if you're tracking it as a bookkeeping service, even for other small businesses uh, as well. Now, this works by classifying your transactions. We'll get into that in a little bit here, as well as your profit and generating a profit and loss statement report. And then this insights tab here where you can generate a cash flow statement and chart to help visualize your data and visualize your overall net income and cash flow statements showing your income and expenses based on the month. And this will automatically update based on your transaction data. So how does that all work? Where do you start to start generating your cash flow report? So you have, say, you know, your January, February, March, April, May, uh, and seeing, you know, how much you brought in in your business and what your net, you know, expenses are. This can be very important, again, to get a good overall view of your overall financial picture and your overall financial health. It essentially is the importance of bookkeeping. So, you know, this is can help you in your small business so you know exactly where you're at. So as you can see here, you have your net, your income and expenses, and you can see how that changes over the month throughout the year. So to start, how do you uh, actually get this data here in the spreadsheet? So we're going to start with the transactions tab here. Uh, now, by default, of course, if you don't have any transactions, it would just look like this if you haven't entered anything in yet. But of course, uh, in this template here, I have added in some example uh, income and expenses. Now, the expense and income categories uh, do depend on, of course, what the IRS is looking for for when it comes to tax time, uh, making sure that you're actually trans you know, categorizing your transactions properly uh, is important. Uh, now, of course, if you want to, you can uh, edit this uh, section here within this spreadsheet. If you do want to change these category categories, you know, feel free to do so. But I have them set up here, um, you know, just to go in here. So I have this set up as a view. Um, in the section here so that you go in under the transaction category, you click edit and it will then be the data validation rules. So if you want to change these, all you have to do is again, click in and click edit here and it will bring up this menu uh, on the right here. Now, as you can see, these are the data validation rules. So this applies to this range here. Uh, and I have them set up as, you know, sales and income, advertising expenses. Uh, so, you know, advertising would be an expense, bank interest charges, contractors, insurance, uh, meals, repairs and maintenance, software subscriptions, phone utilities, travel and other expenses. Again, if you want to add more different expense categories, you can do that here in the data validation rules set. Um, all you have to do is click the edit button there. Uh, so as you can see here, you can also change the colors if you'd like to as well in the spreadsheet. Uh, so this is the sales and income tab. So what we've done here, uh, what I've put in is in this business example, let's, let's just say you're maybe a property manager, right? Uh, this can work for any type of business as well. It just depends on, you know, the nature of the business and maybe some of the categories you might want to edit for yourself uh, and what is most important to you. Of course, this is completely customizable uh, to whatever you may want or need in your business. Uh, so as you can see here, we have set up, I figured just, you know, using a property management, very consistent uh, income and expenses, generally speaking, I figured it would make for a good tutorial uh, in this video. So we have a rent payment, as you can see here, you type in the transaction on the left here. Now, again, this can be a little bit more of a manual process, again, compared to other 
bookkeeping softwares or accounting softwares out there. This system in general definitely works best for businesses that maybe don't have as many transactions. Maybe, you know, you're maybe a little bit smaller or you have larger transactions, but net you have less just volume of transactions, less overall volume of transactions, the better this system uh, may work for you in your business. So we have a rent payment here that came in on the first of January, 2024. Now, currently this is all set to 2024, depending on when you're watching this video, it may be 2025, 2026. Uh, you can easily go in and edit these dates here if you want to, and just make sure you put in uh, the current year. Uh, and then we have an amount here. So this figure is in $2,100 and we have transacted that as sales slash income uh, for the business. And then we have a mortgage payment also due on the first of $1,600. And that includes, you know, everything. We're just going to lump it in just for this example as bank and interest charges. We're not breaking that down into like insurance, property, you know, all those other aspects that you might have uh, built into your mortgage payment. Uh, then say January was a, a month where, hey, we had to do some repairs and maintenance. Well, we've got a stove here, uh, $450. I don't know. Maybe that's how much a stove is. Maybe that's a cheap one, expensive one. I don't know. This is just an example. Uh, so $450 under repairs and maintenance cost. And then we have, maybe we wanted to get some new photos done of the property. So that's $200. We're going to classify that as advertising. Uh, and so as you can see here, it's very flexible in how you want to edit and categorize your transactions. Very simple and easy to do within the data validation uh, tools that we have set up here uh, in the uh, format with data validation under data and data validation is set up here already. So we're going to go ahead and click uh, close out of that there. So if you wanted to add new transactions, as you can see here, then this is for the month of February. Then we've got the month of March. So all this data, as you input it here, will automatically be uh, synthesized and then spit out on the profit and loss statement as well as the insights statement. So we will go ahead and add in some additional transactions, but I do want to show you the other statements first, uh, just to give you a general overview of how this spreadsheet works before we go in. And we're going to add some additional transactions in a moment here uh, to show like what may would look like and then how it represents on the other tabs of this sheet. So let's go ahead and take a look at the profit and loss statement. Now, this statement here takes a summary of the the overall gross sales to provide you with a total income. As you can see here, this is set up as the sum if statement uh, so that the transactions are, you know, all in the D column. And then you have under labeled as sales and income and then the all the transactions figures, which are in the C column. Uh, here just to show you sort of how it works. Again, I will be explaining a little bit of that too if you do want to edit some sections here or if you want to update them, you know, depending on your needs. But generally, this is pretty plug and play. Uh, so we have the profit and loss statement taking account of all the sales that we have over the current time period that has been input in the transactions. Then we have all of our expenses broken out by category in summary uh, throughout the sheet here. So we have our total advertising, total bank and interest charges. Uh, you know, the list goes through here, insurance contractors. And then that is all added up here into your profit and loss statement for your total expenses throughout the time period uh, that you have selected. Now, I personally would recommend, highly recommend, just doing this on a year-to-year -year basis based on the way that this spreadsheet is generated and generally just to keep good track of your finances. Do this on a year-to-year -year basis within the sheet uh, and separate it out. You know, you input them all, let's just say, for example, all of the 2024 data, you put that in here and then you have that year's setup of transactions. And then when you go to the profit and loss statement, it will be a summary for that given year. Uh, and you can go ahead and, you know, duplicate this template if you want to do it out for future years or even prior years as well. Maybe if you're trying to take, you know, take account of things for 2023 come tax time, it just depends when you're watching this video, what year of course <laughs> is relevant to you, uh, but you can easily go in and update that. But I would do this on a yearly basis based on the way that everything works here in terms of the um, math and how it's calculated. I would do it on a per year basis. So, um, you know, just create a new sheet for each year. Uh, and then you have your total profit and loss statement for that total time period for the given year that we've entered so far. We have a net income of $1,200. So as you can see here, that's what we currently have. And to break out the insights tab, as you can see, 
uh, we have it set up as a cash flow. So you can keep track of your overall cash flow in your business, which is super vital to keeping just a good eye on where your money is going. And overall, are you actually making a profit? Uh, that's really the basis of bookkeeping in a nutshell uh, as well. So as you can see here, we have our income tracked. And this is all of the transactions from 1-1-2024 through 1-31-2024. And if we go through here in terms of how that is then figured, we're using the sum if formula uh, to get the income for January, February, March. And as you can see here, the dates do change. So, um, you know, depending on the year that you might want to edit this for, you know, this is where you would need to edit the sheet if you are doing it for different years uh, in the future, especially because, hey, if it's a leap year, then February's uh, end date might be a little different. Instead of, you know, 229, it might be 228. So uh, depending on the year you're watching this and when you want to update the sheet, that is just you click there and you can easily, uh, you know, you click in and you can easily edit the formula here. And all you need to do is then update that number. Um, so you don't have to worry about all the, the specifics and how it's created. Uh, but that's all that you would need to update uh, is just the, the year range. So very simple to do. You would just change the four to a five or a four to a six or even the four to a three if you're going backwards. Um, so as you can see here, uh, you have February, March, April. And then all of the transactions in the sales and income tab are then put here as the income. If we go to expenses, you know, every transaction that's a negative transaction, which would be an expense, uh, is then labeled here under the expenses automatically from the transactions tab directly into this cash flow statement. So you can see where your money is going just from entering that transaction data in on the transactions tab. And then it's automatically ported over here to the insights tab on a month to month basis. So let's go ahead and do an example here uh, of the month of May and where we stand for the month of May uh, after those transactions have been entered. So we're going to go back over past the profit and loss statement. This is again, the yearly statement uh, from the total date range that you have the total, you know, data in the date range column that you have. Uh, and then the, the insights are the month to month uh, ranges based on the dates uh, in the B tab here. So we're going to go ahead and add in for the month of May. So we're going to go ahead and add in uh, five uh, dash one uh, 2024. So that is the, the first of May. Now, of course, if you want to click in, uh, you can also edit that here with the calendar view. If that's helpful to you, uh, that's just something that Google Sheets does automatically. Uh, and then we're going to go ahead and type in as a rent payment. So we have the rent payment there uh, and we're going to then mark that. Let's just say maybe maybe we want to increase rents a hundred bucks a month or something like that. Right. So let's go ahead and just put in twenty two hundred just to give you a basis of how it can be represented slightly differently in the insights tab as things change. Um, maybe we also offer uh, lawn care services as an extra fee. Uh you know, for the tenants or something as part of the property management. So if they don't want to do it themselves, we can just charge them uh, an additional fee uh, for that service. So let's try and, you know, up the income from the, the property. Let's see what we can do here. So we're going to do that charge as well on uh, the first of the month. So we're going to do 2024. So we've got lawn care. And let's just say, again, that's split out here as an extra hundred bucks uh, under you know, sales and income that's just split out there. Everything goes under just the sales and income tab in terms of the transaction category. Uh, but we have, again, if you want to review specific transactions, uh, you know, you could do that here in the transactions tab. So that's an extra hundred bucks. We raise the rents and we have an extra hundred bucks uh, in lawn care. Again, this is just an example. Depending on your business, it might be different for you as to what might be useful uh, for you to calculate. So as you can see here, that is the lawn care settings. Uh, and then next, we're going to, of course, make sure we pay the bank here. So we got the mortgage payment uh, and we're going to label that as well for 5 uh, 2024. And that's going to stay consistent at the, well, let's just say it went up a little bit. Let's just say it went up 50 bucks for insurance, uh, rise in insurance or something like that. Uh, and then we're going to go to bank and interest charges, um, as you can see. And now all that data is entered here uh, in the sheet. So we have all that transaction data 
Uh, and you're going to want to make sure as well on any transactions that are an expense, you put the negative symbol there. So it counts it as a charge. So it's negative. Uh, this is all done. And just to explain here, uh, for those of you who are maybe more familiar with accounting terminology, this is all done as a single entry accounting system for the bookkeeping side of things. Again, this is all single entry, just looking at income and expenses. We're not doing double entry, not a full accounting software software setup. This is really just for very simple single entry bookkeeping setup again for the average person uh, who may need that in their business. And then next we go over to the insights tab to see how that looks. So now for the month of May, as you can see here, the income from the transactions tab has automatically been entered here into the insights. So you can see overall in the month of May where we stand in, in terms of total income. So it's 2300. Uh, you have a net of 650, so it has gone up a little bit. Uh, and we have about the same level of expenses, slightly more expenses, uh, but the overall net being in the black here and, and, and being profitable, uh, we can see we've r raised that net income uh, a little bit higher. And if we take a look at the profit and loss statement, uh, as you can see here, this is for the year it has increased a little bit there as well. So that is the simple free bookkeeping template for keeping track of your transactions, the profit and loss statement, as well as your cash flow statement as well on a month to month basis for your business. If you want to go ahead and download or uh, access this sheet. I will leave a link down below. All that I ask is if you do want to help support, this is again a free template, uh, but if you do want to show your support uh, and sort of pay as you wish, I will leave a link as well to the this page here, which is a PayPal donate. If you want to uh, provide support in any way uh, that is appreciated, of course, it is a pay as you wish, so it is completely for free. This is just if you want to show some support and help out the channel for the creation of these types of templates. You can either visit the link below or the QR code on screen here. We'll take you over to this page here where you can help show your support and again, pay as you wish for the template if you so choose. Again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. And if you guys liked the video or found this helpful, then be sure to smash the like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. But anyway, guys, that was all for today's video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.